A neighborhood crime alert in East Arlington. A woman says someone broke into her storage unit and others stealing thousands of dollars worth of property. I can't eat, I can't function properly, and it's really taking a toll on me to lose everything that I've worked for. It happened at St. John's Storage on St. John's Bluff Road. Police say that they're investigating the burglary. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joining us live. Marilyn, you tried to get information from the manager on what happened. Yeah, they couldn't tell me much. It's right here behind me. But what I want to show you is here on the phone because JSO says in the past few months, they had multiple calls for service talking about burglaries at this facility. Now, after what this woman just experienced this past weekend, she says she's grabbing her things and getting out of there. Adina Monroe is furious. Well, it was all the way full to the top and everything's gone. While her home is being renovated, she thought her jewelry, furniture, service weapon, and other items would be safe here. That is until someone broke into her unit at St. John's Storage last week. They took all the good stuff. They had time to go through each and every bag that was in here. She only found out about it Monday when she saw her lock was gone. She gave us this video of her confronting the manager that same day. We're protecting his identity, but he told police and Monroe that two women were inside her unit Friday. They were putting a lock on the unit. And there's no lock on it now? No. So, I, assume, I assumed you sent them out there to put a lock on it. And you didn't call the police, right? I called them last night. So you didn't call them when the women was over in my unit? No. You didn't, you didn't call them? Okay. Because there was no reason to call them. But it, none. It no was no reason, reason to call. call them because okay. they were not doing anything that I could see was legal. Now, okay. if they had been breaking into the unit, if they had been taking stuff out of it, I would have then definitely called the police on them. Monroe says she has no clue who these women could be, and the manager couldn't give her or the police a description of them. He says he was checking the units like he always does, but didn't see anything suspicious. We tried speaking with him today, but he couldn't comment. It's just negligence on their behalf. Meanwhile, Monroe is brought to tears over her items. It's too much. She wants everything back and is ready to shut down her ties with this business. JSO says from Friday to Monday, they've had three burglary calls to this business. Monroe is considering taking legal action, especially after she says the manager confronted those two women saying that are they Adina Monroe? And those women responded saying yes. So she put he put her name out there, which made her very uncomfortable. Also on that video she shared with us, she said the manager claimed he tried to get in touch with her and even wrote a letter and that JSO tried to reach out to her but she didn't get any of these calls. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station. Marilyn, you also looked into whether there's security at the storage facility, right? Right, so the manager told JSO that he does nightly checks. I want you to take a look at this photo because we saw security cameras when we were in there today, but the photos you're looking at is from the woman we spoke with, and you can see one of them are facing upward. Another one is completely broken. Now, when we went back in there today, they were fixed. But another JSO report says that officers are also working right now to get that surveillance video, and they're checking around in nearby pawn shops to see what they can find. All right, Marilyn Parker reporting live for us. Thank you.